Hey guys, it's Trevor with DinoJet. Today we're going to be going over the install process of the Power Commander 5 on the Suzuki GSXR 600. Let's go ahead and get this install started. This particular Power Commander is good for the 2011 to 2021 GSXR 600s. This Power Commander is going to help you optimize your field tuning for any exhaust modifications or any airbox modifications you guys have done to your bike. Let's go ahead and go over the tools before we start this install. We're using a tank prop, some pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, spoon pick, a 5mm Allen, and a 4mm Allen. It's really all you're going to need. First step in the install process, we're going to go ahead and remove both of our seats. The back seat, you're going to go ahead and use your key above the left passenger foot peg. Insert the key, pop the back seat off. And then for the front seat, we're going to go ahead and remove these side panels on both left side and right side of the bike to give us access to the bolt that holds on the seat. You're going to go ahead and just get your fingers up underneath, give it a little bit of a pull. pop it off. These side panels are held on with some dual lock and a little push pin so it might be kind of hard to get it off at first but just keep working at it and try not to break it. Once you have those two panels off you can go ahead and remove the bolt underneath on both sides. It's going to be a five millimeter allen. Once you have both those bolts out, you can go ahead and lift on the front of the seat and it'll pop right off. Once you have the seats off, we're going to go ahead and work our way up to the front of the bike. We're going to remove these two bolts holding on the tank. It's also going to be 5mm Allen to get these off. Once you have those two bolts out in the front of the tank, you go ahead and gently lift up on the tank. And prop it up so we can have access to the fuel lines and all the connectors underneath the tank. We're going to go ahead and start removing our fuel line, our connector for our fuel pump, our breather line, and our overflow lines. If you can't get this connector for the fuel pump off, you can use like a little spoon pick or something to kind of help you push in the little prong that holds the two connectors together. Once you have everything disconnected, you can go ahead and lay the tank back down. Now we can go to the left side of the bike, right behind the tank. It's going to be a bolt that holds the back of the tank on, a five millimeter head. Go ahead and remove that bolt. And then go ahead and use a spoon pick or a normal pick just to get that bolt out. Once you have that back bolt out, you can go ahead and lift up on the tank. Pop the tank off and put it somewhere safe. Once we have the tank removed, we can go ahead and remove this side panel on the right side of the bike. It's going to give us a little bit better access to our throttle body. So when we start routing the power commander, we can get to the connectors a little bit easier. It's going to be one bolt with a four millimeter Allen head. Let's go ahead and remove that. And then give it a gentle pull. And it'll pop right off. We're gonna go ahead now and start routing the power commander. We're gonna to go to the tail section of the bike and route the power commander down the left side of the bike up towards the motor. We're gonna pull it all the way through until our ground is right next to our battery. And then we can go ahead and lay the power commander just in the back of the tail section. Now we have the power commander routed down the left side of the bike and up towards the motor. We're gonna go ahead and start disconnecting our lower injectors, starting at the left injector and working ourselves to the right. So unplug the first injector, plug in line our power commander harness with the orange wires. And the second injector, we're going to go ahead and plug in line 
our yellow wires. Plug the power commander in line and then back onto the injector. Injector three is going to be the green wires on the power commander. Plug in line and then back onto the injector. And then the last injector is going to be our blue wires. And then back onto the injector. Once you have that last injector installed, you can go ahead and start routing down the TPS connector. It's going to go right next to that injector down past the frame so we can get to our throttle body. Once you have the wires from the Power Commander 5 for the TPS routed down, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the TPS connector off the throttle body and then plug in line our Power Commander. and then plug the power commander into the throttle body. The injectors are hooked up, TPS is all connected. The last step in the process would be just to hook up your ground to the negative terminal on your battery. This is a brand new bike off the showroom floor so we don't have anything hooked up to the battery right now. But once it's hooked up, the install is done and you're ready to throw the bike back together. And there you have it, the install process on this beautiful bike is done. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out for more great GSXR products at dinojet.com.